time, right guys? <laughs> Kittens are awesome. Um, <laughs> Still really hot. Still really hot. I gotta say, as an old lady, still really hot. Still really hot. Uh, do you? I mean, I know there's there's really not a lot you can say about. Well, first of all, I also uh, uh, Caroline Skinner. I don't. How? What has the season been like for you so far? It's been incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, it's you know, huge episodes. We've had Daleks. We've had Weeping Angels. We've been to New York. We've shot an episode in Spain. It's just been absolutely epic. But you know, saying goodbye to these guys was the big one, really. Mm. Like literally, Karen did nothing but cry for two weeks. We ran out of tissues. I mean, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing. Absolutely, there's nothing like Doctor Who. And as as you're as you're writing, are you just sort of like. Your fingers get heavier where you're like, I don't want to have to, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> is, it, is it sort of that feeling? Um, that episode, it was a tough one to write. I think I was actually quite relieved when I managed to finish it. Um, and, it and it actually sort of made sense. Um, yes, it was very, very, it was very, very difficult to know that because it's not just fiction you're ending. You're actually ending a, you know, a real life uh, experience working with Karen and Arthur was absolutely coming to an end. And I, I, and I thought, I've, no, I've written my last words ever for Amy and Rory. Of course I had it. There's always something else. Sure. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, no, it was genuinely, properly sad. Are you allowed to, in any way, kind of give us a sense of, you know, what kind of an ending we might be seeing? Is it any? Take a guess, Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, if I know Stephen Moffat, heads will roll! <laughs> um... But I think I do think that is the the fun thing about the show is that because it's a show that takes place anywhere in space and time, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Well, you mean you mean there isn't a way to write about it absolutely ended. <laughs> I I'd say there's there's no way to write them out completely, right? There's you're it. you're right. Do you right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the episode, Chris. <laughs> That's gonna be a hard one, you know. I mean, oh yes. It's gonna be a really hard one. I, I put off watching The End of Time for like a month. Uh, because and you've it, kept the outfit, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as soon as I, but, that, but again, that's what, this is the point that I wanna make is that we say goodbye to people that we love, but we form new relationships with new people that we love too. Are you still talking about Doctor Who or have you gone off and something? Well, it's just, there's, <laughs> a, very, there's a very special you. lady here today in a Xena costume and I just wanted to make her the happiest. Uh, I'm not getting engaged. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but I do think it's important to note that we trust you. We trust you, that, you know, that whatever it is that you do, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna follow you and trust that, you know, that you're not gonna damage our hearts for too long, you know? <laughs> you know that, you know you have our hearts in your hands. Yes. <laughs> Please be Why gentle. Why do you trust me? <laughs> because what you have I ever done to earn that? <laughs> because you write awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, and that's why. And it's very upsetting. <laughs> uh, Caroline, what else? reassuring enough. Yes. I don't trust him. Wow. <laughs> what from your from your, what, what are your what are your kind of favorite uh, storylines, Caroline? Do, do you like do you like historical or do you like future? Or do you like space? Do you like alien? Like what, what do you what do you prefer? Oh God, I love them all. I don't know. I mean, it's if I think. Probably the historical ones, because I think there's something so magical about time traveling back into the past. But um, you know, it's if I love the I love I love the episodes that we've just made because they're all so different from each other, and I think that actually that's the thing that I love the one that I'm going to watch next. I suppose that's the thing. You kind of go, they're huge these episodes, um, and I kind of I love them all for different reasons. Yeah, Matt, what, what's your favorite? Well, you know, I mean, again, but 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 you know, to pick up on your point, I think it's absolutely right that the. the the show is the star, and the show will continue without without us, without dare I say, Stephen, without you know, it, it, because that's that's the thing that we're here to serve, and 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 that's what we do, and 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 it is about regeneration, and it is about welcoming in Jenna and and, and a new era and a new time, and and you know, it, it, it's that's what's exciting. But um, I think yeah, it's what I like is that each week. It can be anything, and you're not bound by genre, and that you can tell a horror story one week or a sort of rom commy story the next, and it's 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 it can afford invention and inventiveness, and and you know it's sort of limitless really. But um, I quite like going back in time, I like going forward in time. 
I like everything, really. I don't know. You like going to the future, don't you? I like, I like when we learn something about the cat, like about something we're really familiar with. Like Van like, Gogh, for instance. Yeah, or no, but I like the like the Tardis oh, girl. Oh, yeah, 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 right, okay. Idris and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Neil Gaiman, yeah, Neil Gaiman's episode. <laughs> what are you gonna miss? The, what do you think you'll you'll miss the most, Karen? I am right next to you, by the way. <laughs> well, I'm gonna miss various things. I'm gonna miss getting to run down corridors away from imaginary monsters because they're put in afterwards sometimes. And um... you can still do that. It'll just be weird. Yeah. <laughs> I can look really scared of tennis balls now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's really fun. Instead of like doing a show where you're just standing in a room talking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna miss these guys, I really am. I've been, I've made some of my best friends on this show. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, like, we, we do spend all of our time together. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's mad. But we've got to the point where we can't really have conversations when the three of us. Just noises. Just noises. Just, yeah. Noises and silly phrases. Yeah. And, um... We like to call them episodes. <laughs> 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 you guys are in this kind of, you know, you're in this, this wonderfully unique position that you've all, you've all kind of grown together in the last few years and, you know, no matter how old you get, how, you, you always have this visual scrapbook of, of, of your lives. I mean, you know, how, how seamlessly do you feel like you flow in between your characters, you know, and, and back out? Well, I mean, it's, quickly. yeah, it's got to the point where, yeah, and what's been really interesting over the past sort of six months or so as well, or the past year is, if there's something happening in a scene, say for instance, there's a moment that we react to, I mean, even now, I won't have to look, and something's happened there, let's say it happened like that, and us three would go... <laughs> And like, you know, because you become kind of symbiotic in that. Yeah. Because, because it is, it's every waking hour of the day together. And, and it's nine months and we film away from London, so away from our friends. And, it, 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 and we don't really argue, do we? No. No. But it's, so, and it's great to be able to play characters that you know so well and then get scripts that surprise you yeah. with, what, yeah, with what they do. And, you know, it, it's, it, what's great, what, the real heartbeat of the show is the quality of the writing. and. and the quality of the writers that it attaches as well, and that that that, that is it makes our job yeah. infinitely easier. You know, and so I'm not just saying that because you're next to me. <laughs> it's also fun for fans too to be able to see you guys go on and do other things, mm. or see or like see you you know cross over with other people, or like you know I saw something once, Matt, where you popped up on something with Billy Piper, and I was like, oh my god! And then in my head, I wrote this whole fan fiction story about how. <laughs> Yeah. Given the content of the scene there, yeah. as I recall, <laughs> must have been one hell of a story. Well, it's something we all wanted to see. Yeah. Uh, worst way to spend an afternoon at work. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what do, you, do you guys have have plans on on what what's next for you guys? Yeah. Yes. Do you want to go? Should we, we answer? answer each other? Okay, right. What's it called? It's called. Okay. okay, so I'm going to Scotland um, to do a little film called um, Not Another Happy Ending, um, which is about a writer. And then I'm Are you doing. Like that? Oh, stop it. And I am doing a film in America called Oculus about a mirror. <laughs> of you. No, you can't. Um, um, so, uh, oh sorry, I'm just a bit bumbling, because that's just me. Um, <laughs> this was it, this was how the pawns ended. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, so, I'm gonna, um, do a play in London with my best friend, and we've known each other since we were like eight, so, uh, that's really exciting. And then, oh, this is exciting. I'm going to do it in my normal voice. I am going to, because <laughs> I'm you know, um, I'm going to do um, a new series called Broadchurch with 
get this, David Tennant. <laughs> Chibnall, who, you know, wrote some of Doctor Who, and Olivia Coleman, who was Prisoner Zero. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, so so people will so people will actually be able to, to see you pop up on other stuff, yeah. which which is nice. Uh, it's it's nice for us. Again, I feel like in England there's like 50 actors <laughs> and they all just do this constantly. You're like, hey, there I go, there's Stephen Fry, oh, hey, there's good. In fairness, those 50 actors seem to be playing the leads in most of your show. <laughs> slowly becoming true that the, the British actors are better at being American. It's true, it's true. It's, I, How does that I, make you feel? Well, it makes me almost feel bad for having to drive you bastards back uh, hundreds of years ago. <laughs> We're taxing our tea! <laughs> we don't even drink tea! Who gives a crap? <laughs> no, I said that. I said jokingly yesterday in the Warner Brothers panel, we were, it was uh, 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 the Superman, it was the Man of Steel, and I was like, these damn British actors are coming here and taking parts of American hard-working superheroes, and, uh, and I was like, and that's why there should be an American doctor, and instantly was like, no! Like, everyone got so mad, and I was like, I was kidding, of course not, no, please don't get mad. Uh, but uh, you also bring with you, uh, Mr. Moffat, uh, some surprises and exclusive things. Uh, do you want to, uh, want to set up this next little bit of awesomeness? <laughs> right. Uh, this is. Uh, we're just talking about the, uh, the, the. Sorry, was someone shouting at me there? Uh, Probably. The uh, British American controversy. This is us in, uh, in the heartland of your culture. We are doing a Western. <laughs> and for extra authenticity, we did the one thing you must always do when you are shooting an iconic piece of American culture. I don't know American. We went to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> And we're now going to show you our version of your culture. <laughs> <laughs>